Dan Welch, the former British touring car competitor, lines up in the middle of the front row with Hal Ridge, the rallycross journalist and former uh, 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 super hot hatch competitor, rather, in the mid-2000s. As we get ready to go racing then, good launch there from Hal Ridge off the front row of the grid. He gets the whole shot as they come down in towards the first corner then, but it's Thomas Vilgos with the inside line. He's not afraid to get his elbows out. And Dan Welch is on the outside then of Thomas Vilgos into uh, the second part of the Chesson's Drift and down the Dover Slope as we head in towards the Devil's Elbow. So it is Hal Ridge that leads the way then from Thomas Vilgos from Dan Welch. Uh, then comes the number 80 and uh, that is Charlie Fraser in the silver machine as side by side we go with Dan Welch and Thomas Vilgos up the top of Harry Hill in towards the North Bend. Vilgos on the inside, Welch on the outside. Who's going to make the move stick? You can see there in the background, Rob Gibson is trying his hand at finding his way past Charlie Fraser. Isn't quite able to do so and loses a bit of drive as a result of his efforts. But we're still side by side, as we can just see there, between uh, Vilgos and between Dan Welch. And he's able to get ahead then, is the pole driver ahead of uh, Dan Welch into second position. And now his next target will be Hal Ridge. And he's really closing up onto the back of Hal, going through that chicane and in towards Chesson Tripper. Here comes Dan Welch as an opportunity has presented itself up the inside for Dan, side by side they go, Vilgos is all at sea on the outside there, but he's on the outside, it's three wide, out of Chesson's Drift then here in the Electro Rallycross final, this is fantastic racing here, it's Welch on the outside, it's Hal Ridge in the middle, it's Vilgos on the inside, into the Devil's Elbow we go, up the inside for Vilgos, he takes the lead away, as does Dan Welch, he takes second place then away from Hal Ridge, so that is not how to do two corners there from Hal Ridge, losing two positions in the space of two corners, but Dan Welch is on an absolute mission here, He's now side by side with Vilgos on the outside then of the North Bend. Down the run through Harry Hill we go. It's Welch on the outside. It's Vilgos on the middle. He's going to have to break his way out of that because Welch is not going to give him racing room at all. And now it's the number 23 of Dan Welch that leads the way. First ever electric rallycross race at Lydon, and it's a bit of a thriller this one. There's Dan Welsh, Thomas Vilgosh, Hal Ridge, all squabbling. Hal Ridge just lost momentum coming through the chicane, had a hit a big bump, and it launched the Fiat 500E into the air. It landed, and suddenly Vilgosh and Welsh are on his tail. He was then really struggling through Chessons and on the run to the elbow. He just lost all his momentum with that mistake at the chicane. But it's Dan Welsh then, son of former Rallycross legend John, who leads the field. The former BTCC man leads Thomas Vilgosh, who won't be waving to the crowd at the moment. He needs to be concentrating solely on the rear bumper of Dan Welsh's 23 car ahead of him. But it is Welsh who leads, coming out of North Bend Hairpin, down Harry Hill and into Paddock. We're on lap three of five. So still a long time for these electric racers to squabble and switch positions but it is Dan Welsh who leads them through the chicane starting what is now due to be the penultimate tour so into that uh, penultimate lap they go then and into Chesson's Drift and look at how much of a gap Dan Welch has been able to pull out now he's had some clear air the first time he's had clear air yeah. all day because Thomas Vilgosh has won every race and led every single lap so far of the Electric Rallycross Series the Electro Series which is making its debut of course here today you can see Charlie Fraser there on the back then of Hal Ridge so a third place under threat here for Hal up the inside is Fraser looking but not able to find his way through not having enough momentum to do that on the climb to Harry Hill and that is allowing John um, John uh, Rob Gibson I should say in the background there to close up onto the back of these guys Rob Gibson of course a very old hand we're used to seeing his Metro 6R4 out on track and uh, competing in the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship in the Retro and uh, the Group B class but uh, sadly not out here today but we do get to see him in a new discipline in this Electro series then so on to the final lap it's Dan Welch that leads the way from Thomas Vilgosh yeah, and Vilgosh is closing. We have about a mile or so to go then of the Lyddon Hill circuit. And can Dan Welsh hold on? He's got the far more experienced rallycross campaigner behind him. Thomas Vilgosh, the British-based pole, was behind Hal Ridge. He's having that good squabble still with Charlie Fraser. There's two real battle packs in this opening Electro Rallycross Championship final. First time we've seen them go racing at Lyddon. They were testing here back in 2018, but they're now here for the, for, for the first time racing. And how Ridge is having to go defensive up into North Bend Hairpin because Charlie Fraser 
is there. Rob Gibson's not falling away either, but it looks like Dan Welsh, having not led a lap of the qualifying stages, is now going to win when it matters and should take the flag in the Electro Final. Dan Welsh comes over the timing line to take that chequered flag then and win the Electro Final here for the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship. And over the timing line in second place, of course, uh, was a fantastic drive from Thomas Vilgos. Third position, Hal Ridd did manage to hold on ahead of uh, Charlie Fraser in the end of that one with Rob Gibson coming home, the last of the classified runners. But a great job there from Dan Welch, proving exactly why he was on the national stage in the British Touring Car Championship for so long. Drives like that are exactly why you're able to forge a career as he has done.